This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. We made contact with Planet Fitness. We'll tell you all about the gym coming to the Laurel Mall next. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm Ken Carr, and here's today's information from SSP TV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. It's become one of the most anticipated additions to the Laurel Mall. Tonight, Janine Lassant has the details on Planet Fitness. Everyone's been asking about Planet Fitness, and I have all the answers for you today. We're with Rocco Aruzzo at the Laurel Mall. As you can tell, Planet Fitness, the signs behind us, this is going to be opening on February 3rd, and that's how you can get your memberships. But there are certain deals that you can get, and I can't believe these prices. I'm actually going to sign up myself. Yeah, well, you know, you asked me some questions prior to going on, and I figured, well, let me find out. First of all, the pre-sale location is the former Payless Shoes. Mm -hmm. It's right across from Mariano Furniture, Boscov's Wing, almost right next to the Boscov. They're going to open February 3rd, as you mentioned. Now, this is what they tell me, and I hope I get this right. On the pre-sale, okay. you sign up for the $10 a month. Mm -hmm. You will not be billed until they open. Now, their grand opening is scheduled for, I'm going to make the announcement now, March 31st is the grand opening of Planet Fitness. They're possibly going to do a soft opening around the 17th of March, mm -hmm. but the plan is now to do their grand opening, as I said, March 31st. Now, on the pre-sale, and this is opening on the, the uh, February 3rd, and I want to mention, too, they are hiring. Okay. So they're, up, they're hiring up to 25 people. Oh, wow. So if you want to apply, you can come in and apply uh, effective February 3rd also. Okay. Now, here it is, $10 a month, pre-sale. You will be able to start using that when they open this location. Okay, so the Hazelton location inside the Laurel Mall is the, for the pre sale for the $10 a month. That's $10 a month, yeah, and they'll be starting to use that when Planet Fitness opens here, and you won't be billed until they open. So now, that's there, a good thing. Okay, there's another plan, though, that I'm really excited about because you can actually join and be able to use all of the Planet Fitnesses across of the area. Right, correct. Now, this is how this works. It's normally $22.99 a month. Mm -hmm. If you purchase it during the pre-sale, it's going to be $19.99 a month. But that's called the Black card. Okay. Now that black card, as you mentioned, you can use at any Planet Fitness. Uh -huh. So, but that allows you to use the tanning boots and, and everything else. It's, it's the top of the line type of a membership. So you'll be able to use everything in, inside of Planet Fitness. All right. So if you want to work out now and you want to join Planet Fitness, you could come February 3rd for the pre-sale and you mm -hmm. can buy that package and just start right. working out at a different location until the Hazelton one opens. Right. $19.99. And here's the good thing. You sign up with that 1999. That remains as long as you remain a member of Planet Fitness. So you could be a member for five, ten years. It's always going to be 1999. Okay. As far as the employment opportunities, there were questions on uh, the Facebook page, and there were questions to uh, SSP TV. You can find out on February 3rd. Come here. Be prepared to be interviewed for those openings. Yeah. The uh, there is going to be a. A manager from Planet Fitness here. They are, like I said, going to hire 25. I would bring your resume. Mm -hmm. I would be prepared, fill out the application. They'll probably interview you right here on the spot because they want to get hiring right away. All right, so February 3rd, make sure you come here to the former Payless location. Planet Fitness is opening up again. He, we just announced it here. It's happening March 31st, and we'll keep up to date with Rocco. Maybe we'll get him on some of the equipment at Planet Fitness. Yeah, uh, that, well, you never know, but uh, there's a lot of things happening over there. We're going to try to get you in in the next week or two. That nice. You can take some, uh, you know, footage and show the people exactly how the construction is going over there. All right, keep those questions coming here on SSP TV. Thank you, Janine. Buses from the greater Hazleton area travel to our nation's capital today to take part in the 47th annual March for Life. Students from Marion Catholic High School in Tamaqua were among those in attendance. These are photos courtesy of Bella LaSanta, a student at Marion and the daughter of Sam LaSanta Jr. Today, President Donald Trump became the first president ever to attend the event. The march is in response to the Roe v. Wade decision that led to legalized abortion in America. Time now for weather on SSP-TV News.
Beautiful day. We were spoiled a bit here in winter. Here's our forecast from the weekend for the national for the weekend from the National Weather Service. Tonight expect some rain mainly after 2 a.m. We'll have a low of 32 degrees. Saturday, 100% chance of rain, high of 40 degrees. It will be windy with gusts up to 33 miles per hour. New precipitation amounts between three quarters and one inch possible. Saturday night, 40% chance of rain and snow, mostly cloudy with a low of 30 degrees. Little or no snow accumulation is expected. Sunday, mostly cloudy with a high of 36 down to 30 at night with mostly cloudy skies partly sunny for Monday with highs in the mid 30s mostly cloudy at night low of 25 degrees partly sunny Tuesday with highs in the mid 30s lows in the mid 20s at night with mostly cloudy skies. Our SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard begins with a huge game in Schuylkill League Division I girls basketball. Jim Thorpe beat Tamaqua 54-42. The Olympians are 10-0 in the Schuylkill League and the Lady Raiders drop to 6-3. North Schuylkill is just behind Jim Thorpe in Division I at 8-1. They beat Panther Valley on Thursday. The Olympians and Lady Spartans will play on February 6th on the final scheduled day of the regular season will play in the Schuylkill League. Monoy area leads Division 3 of the Schuylkill League at 9-0. They beat Marion, who falls to 6-3. Celine McGrody had 20 points for the Lady Bears. Shenandoah Valley's Victoria Donovan had 14 points in their loss to Minersville. The Hazelton area boys beat Nanticoke 42-35 in the Wyoming Valley Conference Division 1 game. Dallas beat Pittston, so the Cougars now hold first place all to their own in Division 1. Chris Garcia led Hazelton with 11 points. Marion beat Jim Thorpe, and they are 7-1 in the league, and the Colts lead Schuylkill League Division 3 right now. In swimming, Tamaqua swept Monoy area. Madeline Jones won the 500 free and the 100 breaststroke for the girls, and Oceana O'Boyle took the 50 free and 100 butterfly. Nathaniel Kowalczyk won the 200 freestyle and the 100 butterfly for the boys, and Alexander Barron won the 200 IM and the 100 breaststroke, and Ethan Amershek won the 50 freestyle and the 100 free for the boys. Coming up in sports, another counterpunch segment with our John Eric Poli and Ron Marchetti has his short shot segment where he gives his take on local and national sports. And next, a look at the history and the future of the Pennsylvania State Police's popular Camp Cadet. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk the Town. Godspell has been extended to this weekend, and the showtimes are listed on your screen for Saturday and Sunday. For more information, you can visit ptpashows.org. The 7th Annual Be Cool for Our School Polar Plunge to Benefit Marion Catholic will be held tomorrow at Mock Chunk Lake and Jim Thorpe. Registration information and the event time is listed on your screen. For more information, you can call 610-704-8037. Chips is hosting a cafeteria and meatball dinner this Sunday from 11.30 a.m. until 2 p.m. at Holy Rosary Church Hall. You can dine in or take out. Tickets are $10 for adults and $5 for children. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SPTV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Robert Edwards of Hazel Township, who passed away on January 17th. Services are private under the Firo Funeral Home. Helen Air of Drums, Mass will be Saturday at 9.30 a.m. at St. Gabriel's Church. Friends may call today from 5 to 7 p.m. and on Saturday from 8.30 to 9.15 a.m. at the Boyle Funeral Home. Gerald E. Getz of Hazleton. A funeral service will be held on Saturday at 10 a.m. at the Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home. Friends may call Saturday from 9 to 10 a.m. at the Funeral Home. And Mark David Kruitz of South Riding, Virginia. Services were previously held in the state of Virginia. Today's social obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.